In 2013, Nutribullet joined forces with a local high school to provide healthy, nutritious breakfasts to students in the School of Health and Environmental Sciences. The project was intended to be a study of the effects of nutrition on the health and performance of teenagers over a 12-week period. But it became much more than it set out to be. We're several generations into a disconnection from food. We grew up in an environment where maybe we were lucky if we had dinner with our parents once a week, whereas our grandparents every night had dinner not only with their family, but it was freshly picked from the garden and it was made together. These days, many parents don't cook for themselves or for their kids. They have poor health habits and they don't even know what health foods are available. Don't judge me. I didn't have no more Captain Crunch. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. This is the first generation ever where the expected lifespan of children is less than their parents. Don't think I'm really that healthy. I don't feel healthy. I'm not healthy. I'm overweight. I feel like I'm healthy some way, but like not completely the way I should be for a 13 year old. We know that children aren't eating enough fruits and especially not enough vegetables. Breakfast of champions. Mm. What are your favorite fruits and vegetables? I really, I don't really eat vegetables. Sometimes I only eat chips. I like fries. Teddy crayon. Pizza. I don't eat like fruits and vegetables. I just put it aside and then I eat the junk food. The key question remains, how do we get kids to choose broccoli over french fries? To implement a healthy eating program for teenagers, I needed someone special, someone who could run things out in the field. So we brought in registered dietitian, Sarah Lefkowitz. Hi, good. Are these organic? It's pesticide free. Pesticide free. Sarah was the right person to be there for their day-to-day -day questions, to help them with their health issues, and really to customize the program for each one of the kids. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. Well, I started my career as a dietitian in healthcare and realized I really wanted to focus more on prevention. And what better place to start than with kids? Uni High is a local public high school in Los Angeles where most students are eligible for free and reduced meal programs, but few take advantage of it. So I felt like this school environment would be the perfect place to launch a healthy eating initiative. Thinking about bringing a blast bar to Uni, I knew we needed someone from our local community, a teacher ideally, that was passionate about nutrition. It's Friday, happy Friday, welcome back. What I notice the most about our students is that they don't eat well enough. My name is Carrie Ike Reiners. I'm a teacher here at University High School. I teach health, life skills, food science, and I coach the men's volleyball team. You have a certain plan, you have your goal, work, work towards your goal, which is getting healthier, getting more fit, and find a way to measure it that's simple. I met Carrie Ike a couple years ago when we were doing an after-school nutrition program together. She is a go-getter, she loves what she does, and I watched her build a huge garden at uni from nothing to this forest of food. So I knew that in order to have a successful program with Nutribullet, we had to get Carrie involved. Like what other kinds of fruit might you like? Mangoes, watermelon, watermelon apples. mangoes, apples. When I teach health, you know, we talk about nutrition a lot. But when you talk about things a lot, it doesn't mean that's going to transfer into actions. Grab a pair of gloves. We're going to take some of this dirt from the top and we're going to put it around the bottom so when we water it, water doesn't go all the way down the hill. If I can get my students to understand the benefit of plants in their diet and how easy it is to grow their own food, they may have a better connection to food and therefore eat healthier. Foot down, press, and go back and forth a little bit. So when Sarah said Nutribullet wants to you know, partner with the school, I was open arms, please, you know, I'm excited. The principal wants us to do more project-based learning with the kids. He knows that students learn best through experiences. 
Good morning, University High School. Carrie sent me some information about, I want to do this note bullet, bullet thing, and I, I, so I was very intrigued by, you know, is, is this an info commercial type of thing, or is it something that's going to be viable at the school site? Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? When I saw the activity going on, I said, okay, this is something that kids want to do. We can use some of the natural things that we grow in our garden, put them into a container and mix it up and make something that is enjoyable, nutritious, and will feed our body the nutrients that it needs to, to be healthy. You think the kids will like that? Yeah, we might have to add a little bit more like strawberry. Okay. For this project, Nutribullet will be providing the classroom with several Nutribullet systems, organic produce, nuts, seeds, and superfoods, so the students can learn how to make their own smoothies, or what we call Nutriblasts. The program is simple. One Nutriblast a day, five days a week, for 12 weeks. Each month, students are given two new recipes to choose from, or they can follow specific guidelines to make their own blasts. This is the Uni Project. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Get Your Morning Blast. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah? Today is our kickoff, and everyone is so excited to get started. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Beam me up, Scotty. So you want to fill it up to the max line, do you see it? Okay, perfect. We have our blast bar running and parents and students are getting their first opportunity to try a blast. I'm just going to do the second blast, you know? Okay, yeah. Then fill this up. I am on site answering questions and explaining how the program will run. I'm going to be there for the next three months every day to help kids build blasts that not only taste amazing, but are actually healthy. I don't see any veggies in there. What are we going for? Green. In the preset blast that were set up by Nutribullet is generally about a cup and a half of fruit and a cup and a half of vegetables, along with a seed protein of some kind and then almond milk or coconut water. No one's using the greens. Come on, guys, stuff those in. I promise you won't even taste those. It will be challenging to keep students engaged and keep them excited. But I really think once they start feeling better, they're having more energy, they're going to be excited about coming in every morning and making their blast. It tastes good. It tastes okay. It wouldn't be something I choose, but I think if I start drinking it more, I'll more like it. Yes, I have a drink today. What did you think about it? It was good. I feel kind of energized. It's different because I never had something like that before, but it was pretty good. I'm going to do your blood pressure, okay? Yeah. I'm going to do it right there. Nutribullet paid for three nurses to come in and take key performance indicators um, on these students. They took their blood cholesterol, their height, their weight, their waist circumference, their healthy cholesterol levels, and also students will be writing down what they're taking in every morning, and at the end of each week, they're documenting any other noticeable changes that have happened throughout the week and kind of how they feel, energy levels, that kind of thing. So we're taking some subjective measures and then also just some real data. And we'll do that again 90 days from now and see if a nutritious breakfast helps students. After looking at the students' lab data, here's what we found. 13% had elevated total cholesterol. 29% had low HDL cholesterol or good cholesterol. And a whopping 66% of the students had a body mass index that was considered overweight. It's given us an opportunity to change our lifestyle and how we eat. I want to see what kind of results I get and hopefully they're positive. After drinking that, I can now safely say I'm completely on board with it. I'm excited for the program to start. I really want to see a difference. <laughs> We are finishing up week one of the program, and the kids are loving it. Because we're encouraging, but not requiring the students to use greens, most of them are opting for all fruit-based blasts. They got lots of fruit in there, I need to see some greens. Using all fruit is not bad, 
But if we really want to start impacting those 66% of kids that are overweight, we need them to start using the veggies. Nice, you got a good amount of greens in there. You usually can't taste it anyway. I know, right? That's what I tell everybody and they're like, no. Vegetables are crucial for children's diets because they're the best natural source of fiber. They're an amazing source of chlorophyll. They're the best source of calcium and magnesium. And on top of that, they're able to supply very powerful antioxidants like beta carotene and vitamin C. Well, we're only four days into it so far, and the students that are a little more daring have been making their own every day, and kids that are, you know, still not quite sure of how the flavors are gonna mix together are set with the tried and true blasts, and they're really happy with it. It's not that scary, that's good for you. Having the blasts every morning, I have more energy at school, and I'm not as hungry, and my stomach doesn't hurt, or I don't get headaches because of my hunger. So that's changed. Any other, um, any other ways it's influenced you already? Um, I used to like get sleepy before a PE class. Now I'm not. Now you're not sleepy before PE class. Okay, so that's a positive change. I think the program is very helpful because the students get to eat healthier foods and they get to eat breakfast before they go on on, on their school day. Yes, Chase. Uh, craving more fruits and vegetables. I actually was craving one of these yesterday, like fifth period. Ah, you're starting to crave it. So you're feeling satiated by it. It makes you feel full and you're liking the way it tastes. It makes me feel good because um, it's healthy and I want to lose weight and be more healthier. So this is a good way to start off. Today, I decided to drop in on Miss Sykes' class to see firsthand what's going on. You want to do a taste test? All right, we'll do a taste test. You might be right. You've been making these with your ingredients longer, so we'll see what happens. This is pretty good. Yes, too. This is pretty good. I don't know. Hi. It might be a tie. That was pretty good. You guys, this is David Wolf. He's here to talk to you guys today. I want your full attention up here. You can Thanks, Miss Ike. We live in a world where we got so much amazing food and we got so many amazing things and we got amazing gardeners and we know how to grow the best food ever and we also got all this junk food. So you guys are gonna have to get smart and you're gonna have to make that choice. And I gotta tell you, to make it in this world, like once you guys get up there and you start working and you get out into the world, you gotta have a little bit of an advantage. You gotta have a little bit of an advantage and food can be your advantage. Today, I'm here showing the kids what's transformed my life, and that is the understanding of the amazing importance of food and how fun food can be. You see this right here? You, okay, what is that? It's a cashew. It's a cashew, so you can see the cashew coming out the bottom. Look how weird that is. It comes from a fruit. Nutrition is really complex, and I think David makes nutrition fun, interesting, and intellectual all at the same time without being um, overwhelming. I'm going to give you guys a cool tip in nutrition. This is just something I want you to think about, and I want you to think about it the rest of your life. And that is black foods are the best foods for you. I just think it opened them up to say, huh, there's more out there than what's right here, and there's more out there than I've ever seen at my grocery store. So maybe. I should start thinking about that or looking for different things. In my world as a nutritionist, what we say is when you're green on the inside, you're clean on the inside. What's exciting about the Uni Project is we're bringing these foods that are unrecognizable to most kids like kale and zucchini, and they also understand how it grows and what it looks like, what strawberries look like growing wildly in the garden. And that to me is the most inspirational part of the Uni Project. Just take a little bit and just, just chomp it down. It's good. It has a good aftertaste and it gives you good breath. Woo, it's strong. I'm gonna tell you guys an important principle, and that is any food like this that can grow wild like this is stronger. It makes you stronger. It makes you more vital. It gives you more energy, right? It's healthier for you. A healthy lifestyle begins with what we're putting in our mouths today. And I wanted to pass that along to the kids to get them to think beyond just the classroom and into their future. You don't wanna be wasting your time on things that you don't like when you get out of high school. You gotta get into what you do like. And keep reading, keep learning, eat well, and have the best day ever. Let me see your greens. Nice. What did you do? There you go. 
This is kale. No, but what with oh. these? Sorry, what with these? Just go around it, it's fine, you won't taste that. Month two, we have two new recipes. In order to stay in the program, students are now required to use less fruit and more vegetables. Cucumber, and then... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. You no, like it. It's gonna get grounded anyway. 